Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Today we're taking a look at a very unique pair of shoes. This one's from Nike. I'm currently wearing a different pair of shoes from Nike. I have other pairs from Nike and Converse. Um, this is one of the most unique pairs of shoes that I've ever worn, and it's not because it's like self-lacing or anything. It's honestly the way that it feels while walking. Now let me just go through a little bit. Um, I've been very inactive for the last few months, but when I was active, I was running, biking, just doing a lot of different things. And for whatever reason, I, I developed like this pain on the ball of my foot. Sometimes I use like creams on it and it's like, I have to find a very specific pair of shoes that feels all right. And that kind of differs. Like sometimes I need just like the support of running shoes, something that supports the arch here. And then sometimes over the winter, I was actually wearing these Converse, which are known to have very little support, and these these felt perfectly fine. So I was on the lookout for a pair of shoes that could help me run, get back into being active, and just um, to provide support. And I found something that did all of that, and as far as I can tell, is extremely, like I have never felt anything like this. First, this is not sponsored, nothing's being paid to me by Nike. This is just me finding something extremely interesting. I went to the Nike store on Fifth Avenue and I got these, I have to remember what the name of this is. This is part of their Zoom line. Now I do have another pair here. They're known because they are very lightweight shoes, at least for the ones that I've seen. But this one feels heavy in comparison to this. This has a carbon fiber like plate in it, along with cushion. And I, I just have to tell you, let, let me see. Where's the receipt? Where's the receipt so we can read exactly what this name is? So these, they go for $275. That's a lot there. Um, and what they are, they're, they are the Nike Air Zoom Alpha Fly Next Series. And I believe the Next Series is dedicated towards running. Um, I would probably not have gone for a pair of this kind of colorful. It's basically a huge neon yellowish green, but because I usually go for all black, you know, just kind of keeping up the aesthetic. But these, they felt so unique. And in a little bit, we'll try this outside to see how they go. But for these, let me just put these on. Like you can already see, they have this nice little heel guard here, so you're not going to get your little blisters. They are Wow, the weave in this, you can completely see through that weave. Like, let me see this. You can, like, this is a thicker, like, sock material. It's durable, too, and I, you know, yeah. This one is so super light. And I'm surprised that they put something back here for the heel, just, like, for help. But let's take off these shoes. These are... EXP X14, and these were like super cheap, and I got these at Macy's. I actually got a few of them, and these have been one of my favorite basic shoes, but just using these more and more, I can realize they don't have a lot of cushion here. Now, sometimes these are fine, but I was on the lookout for something that had a lot of cushion here. So we're gonna put these on. Again, we're gonna go outside, but look at these things. I in general have wanted a pair of next shoes for a while oh these are tight oh these don't have much stretch like the other fabricy shoes do um i have been on the lookout for just cushiony shoes something that i can use all the time something that i can walk in something that i can run in um and honestly i was gonna look uh, i I forget, it's the, it's the Nike shoe that is made partially from recycled materials. It's like a space hippie trash shoe. And I was like, I almost got that. It would have been significantly less. But with this one, I was like, this is something that I'm gonna be wearing. And again, the uniqueness of this. And I, again, I haven't even specifically gone through why it's so unique, other than being extremely lightweight, is that in all honesty, and I would say give these a try for yourself if you can, go to a store and give these a try. Um, one of these in the Zoom Next series, um, either this one here with this little pocket of air right here, or the other ones that don't have it. But in all honesty, when I stand up 
and I, I begin walking or running, I feel in a, let's see, in a way where I feel like I'm in control. I feel like I'm moving forward. I feel because, let's see, the person who told me about these said, you may only want to get these for running and not for walking. They are too energetic and they'll propel you too much. And I was like, is that even an issue? Is that a problem? Like that doesn't sound like a problem, but now I'm realizing what they mean because I have never felt something like this. Let's get this off the tripod so we can take a look. So these, where I feel the cushion the most is going to be perfectly right here and here. That's where the ball of my feet hurts and I'm like, oh, come on. Um, but this has this kind of fall off in the front and the back of the shoe that I find extremely, extremely supporting and great for running. So when I move forward, it's almost as if I'm falling off a ledge and just going forward. And that, oh, look, <laughs> I'm even moving forward. That bounce propels me into my next step and into my next step and even just while walking. That's how I'm feeling this. And then when I'm on my back, this part is supported by foam, but it's almost like there's a fall off on this side. So if you have a certain gait, maybe this doesn't work for you, but I'm feeling it on the inside. Let's, let's pretend I'm running here. Now, some people have said that I run wrong. I am not a professional runner. Sometimes I do heel strike. Sometimes I run properly. It's all just like how it just goes, but that's just my issue. But for this, it's when you run, you hit, I hit here and it kind of like, it does propel because I'm hitting right there and I'm getting that little air pocket. And then there's the fall away in the front of this shoe, which kind of allows me to push off here and just go. And then for any reason, if I do heel strike, it's going to be a deep hit here and then fully just going on until I'm propelled. I can't get over how this feels. And sometimes I do have to make sure that I'm not, I'm balancing myself well and just like moving properly. And wow, these are unique shoes, extremely unique. Again, these are $275. The ones without the air pockets, they go for 250. So a marginal price decrease. And are you interested in these shoes? What is this? Do you like this? Nope. <laughs> they must be shocking. Um, but all in all, these shoes look very unique, but they are extremely functional. If you know me, I'm somebody who is all about the functionality of a piece. Now, the one thing that I'm feeling here is there seems to be something right here. Did I not take something out of the shoe? God, they're so unique. I'm just falling forward. And again, this does have a carbon fiber plate. I know that there are Zoom shoes without the carbon fiber plate and also the new React, what is it, Infinity, Infinity React. Those are also very cushiony, so they also recommended that to me. But, all right, let's, let's without further ado, we're gonna walk outside. Wow, these are cool. Do you like these? All right, guys, so I just did a quick one block sprint just to get a feel on these, but let's talk a little bit more about the shoes. So again, they cost a little bit much. Now for these ones, they're not rated to last as long as other running shoes. They're gonna be a little bit shorter or actually not even a little bit shorter. They're gonna last about half as long where they say a normal pair of running shoes will last six months. For me, I will beat them into the ground and mine tend to last longer than six months, or maybe I just wear them too long. These ones are rated to last three months if you wear these all the time. All right, so what am I feeling exactly? I'm feeling the bounce. And it's kind of weird. As I was waiting for the elevator to go downstairs, I felt like I was kind of dipping back a little bit. I didn't feel, I have to get used to these shoes. That's honestly what I have to do. They're very different. They're eye-catching, but again, they're extremely functional. But it does worry me a little bit that a pair of $275 shoes 
that's only going to last for half the rate of time than a normal pair of shoes would last. But that's where this kind of extreme functionality happens. While you're wearing them, while they're good, they will be probably the best that you have. And as I started running here, I felt that propulsion. I felt just me just being pushed forward. And even while I'm walking, I'm getting used to this. I'm feeling like a greater dip in the heel because there's so much cushion up front. By the way, I'm like a foot taller right now with these shoes on. They feel very high. But I think it's just great. I love this kind of bounciness. I feel almost just like a rabbit just moving around. I have extra energy. It's the weekend too and it's warm, so that could be it too. But it's it kind of an odd thing. I'm not a huge fan of running around. Like I run just because, again, it's functional. But wearing these shoes right now, I kind of feel weird walking. I kind of feel like I should be running instead. But I don't know. So I would say give them a try at your local store. Any one of these Zoom Next series with the carbon fiber plate inside, I would say yes. That That is a definite go. I've tried the ones with this kind of material and cushioning without that fiber plate and they do, def they do feel different. And for me, I do have some foot pain on my right foot, on the ball of my right foot. With this, I'm not feeling anything right now. There's nothing, no extreme pain, even with that carbon fiber plate. So I would say if you have any foot pains, maybe this is the shoe for you. But of course, give it a try first because this one, again, very expensive shoe. And again, if you don't get that kind of air cushion in the front, it still goes for 250. All right, guys, if you have any questions or anything, put in the comments section below, right down there. I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. If you haven't been to the Volkswagen sign and drive event, here's